Whether you're surfing the waves or surfing tinder, or whether you're checking out the mussels or the winkles, beach picnics have moved on from an egg cress and sand sandwich with a warm tizer. Yeah, and stocking up your cool box with a bottle of picnic friendly wine will push up your supper on the sand. If you're looking for something crisp and as fresh as a sea breeze, look no further than the Waiho Pie. Three Terraces Sauvignon Blanc 2014, which is £8.50 at the Wine Society. It looks like it's got pebbles on the label too. It's so got quite perfect. Beachy pebbles on the label. Yeah. And it's screw cap, as are all the three wines we've got today, because that's easy for a picnic. Oh, now, that is much more a mineral nose, isn't it, Mel, than it is gooseberry and what you'd expect from yeah. a Marlborough Sauvignon Blanc. Yeah, it's not a gooseberry at all, is it? Mm. And the taste is salty mineral too, isn't it? Yeah. There's none of that tropical fruit, there's none of that passion fruit, that good grapefruit that you often get out of Marlborough. It's just not there. And it's dry. Yeah. It's really dry. Deliciously so. So we're thinking, what about impressing people with an asparagus puff pastry tart? Yes. Or if time is a bit tight, how about some goat's cheese spread on a rosemary cracker? That sounds good. Because this, the creaminess of the goat's cheese just works beautiful with a crisp acidity. As crisp as beach bleached sun-dried salty hair, you mean, Mel? <laughs> just as crisp as that, Sandra, yes. And as lively as a surprise random wave slapping you in the face. But if you prefer your wines mellow and sun-kissed rather than wake you up fresh, then this uh, South African Bellingham Bernard Series Roussan 2014, which is £10 at Sainsbury's, is the way to go. We love this wine. We do love this one. We love everything that Bellingham do, I think. They do, yeah. I've got quite a lot of this in my little wine room at home. I wish I had quite a lot of it in my wine room at home. I wish I had a wine room. <laughs> oh, it smells gorgeous. Oh, it does. It's so oaky, isn't it? Oh. It's dark, dark colour and oh. beautiful. You'd need to like oak, but it's gorgeous. So different from the last wine. Oh, yum. It's spicy, it's richer, it's sweeter, it's heavier. It's all together. It is. Bigger. Yeah. <laughs> Now we think this will be perfect for spicy golden picnic chicken. You know, end of the day golden tan rather than mid-morning pale and pasty English leg colour. Obviously. Obviously. Sandra has an actual thing that's called picnic chicken. An actual recipe called picnic Doesn't chicken. Doesn't everyone? Doesn't everyone? No! <laughs> if you like your picnic wines red, why not try something different and slip a bottle of the Waitrose of Beaujolais Village 2013 which is £7.49, into your cool box. Yeah, let's slip it in. <laughs> Sandra, really? <laughs> Ooh, I haven't even swirled and I can smell the cherry aroma on this. It's really inviting, really inviting. And there's some spice in there too. It's lovely. It's so much more than a £7.49 smell, isn't it? It is. Really? Ooh. And then on the palate. Mm. Well, it's, it's dry and it's very French. Well, it? it is French, isn't it? Mm. It's it is France. French. It mm. is French from France and it tastes French yeah. from France. Oh, I think what mm. this needs is lovely. And actually, I'd happily drink this chilled by itself. But, end of the day on the beach, I think a bit of salami, a bit of a camembert slapped in the baguette. Yeah, definitely. Now the reason this does chill well is because Beaujolais is made of Gamay, which has low tannin. Um, and so chilled, it makes for a really refreshing glass. Yeah. 
It's just what you need at the end of a long hot day on the beach, along with a swipe right on Tinder. See you next time. See you next time. Mm -hmm.